Hello Volt China fans. Today I'm sharing news that's shaking the global automotive industry. The Chinese motor technology battlefield has dramatically changed overnight. Imagine this. Just when Xiaomi V8S shocked the world with its impressive 27,000 RPM, BYD immediately countered with a monster-level motor, breaking 30,000 RPM. This isn't just a proud moment for Chinese manufacturing, but a revolution in global motor technology. This motor's power soars to 580 kilowatts, shattering everyone's understanding of motor performance limits. And it doesn't just lead in one parameter, it comprehensively exceeds industry ceilings across all key metrics. In the next five minutes, I'll take you deep into the technical secrets behind this world's most powerful motor, revealing what black technology BYD's engineers used to simultaneously break through ceilings in voltage platform, overcurrent capability, peak power, and power density. First, let's discuss this major breakthrough in 1000 volt platform technology. For years, electric vehicle voltage platforms have been capped below 900 volts. Why? Because power semiconductor voltage ratings maxed out at 1200 volts, and vehicle systems needed safety margins, forcing motor voltages even lower. But BYD's Super E platform has raised their self developed silicon carbide voltage rating directly to 1,500 volts. This is a qualitative leap. Looking at the Tang L100 battery data, the new short blade cells are just 450 millimeters long, only half the length of traditional long blades. The entire battery pack uses a 264 series design, and calculating with the cell's rated voltage of 3.2 volts, the pack's rated voltage reaches 844.8 volts, with peak voltage after full charging at 963.6 volts, approximately 1,000 volts. This voltage platform increase might seem like just a number change, but it fundamentally alters the motor's performance ceiling. Higher voltage means smaller current can be used for the same power, reducing energy loss and improving overall efficiency. But supporting nearly 600 kilowatt motor power requires more than high voltage. It needs high current, too. Xiaomi V8S's 425 kilowatt power uses current of just under 500 amps on its 800 volt platform. BYD's motor clearly exceeds 600 amps, with the entire system design standard possibly reaching 800 amps. This is extremely challenging under current technology conditions. Fortunately, BYD, as the integration king, has a complete industrial chain from chips to complete vehicles. This vertical integration ability allows them to coordinate all links and achieve system-level breakthroughs. Even more amazingly, BYD achieved 580 kilowatt control power using just one stator rotor set, not the parallel configuration many had guessed. The rotor size isn't particularly exaggerated either, just slightly longer than ordinary 200 kilowatt motors. This results in an astonishing power density of 16.4 kilowatts per kilogram, a full 60% improvement over Xiaomi 5, 8S's 10.14 kilowatts per kilogram. This isn't incremental innovation. It's a technological revolution that completely blows open the limits. The motor's core secret lies in that seemingly ordinary rotor design. We all know motor power equals torque, multiplied by rotor speed. For sufficient power, you either increase torque or speed. BYD accomplished both. First, they strengthened the stator magnetic field by increasing current and voltage. But these efforts would be wasted if the rotor's permanent magnets weren't strong enough. So BYD equipped the rotor with extremely powerful magnets, officially called N50EH. This technical term represents a top-tier permanent magnetic material, not only powerful, but also resistant to demagnetization. On the permanent magnet performance map, N50EH sits in the upper right, meaning it simultaneously possesses powerful magnetism and excellent demagnetization resistance. Of course, this material is quite expensive. Beyond the material itself, the permanent magnet layout is crucial. Ordinary motors typically use I-type arrangements. Tesla's 3D6 motor uses a single V layout, and Xiaomi's V8S uses a double V arrangement, one large V below, one small V above. BYD adopted an innovative double U-type arrangement, essentially cutting the double V and turning four magnets into seven, increasing the magnet area and quantity. 
Unlike other high-performance motors, BYD's rotor uses a straight pole design rather than a stepped oblique pole design. This avoids magnetic leakage between oblique poles, extracting more magnetic field from every detail. The end result is a magnetic field strength of 2.1 Tesla. Tesla here is the magnetic field strength unit, not Musk's Tesla company. Although official torque data for the 580 kilowatt motor hasn't been released, we can speculate it might not exceed Xiaomi 58S's 635 Newton meters peak torque and could even be lower. This is because torque and speed often constrain each other in rotor design. BYD's W rotor design increases the number of permanent magnets, but its main purpose is to add reinforcing ribs to the magnets, preventing fragmentation from centrifugal force during high speed rotation. This design also makes the isolation bridges thicker, increasing magnetic reluctance. Additionally, the extra large air gap design mentioned in the presentation is a key point. The air gap is the space between stator and rotor. Smaller gaps mean less magnetic field loss and stronger motor torque performance. But at ultra high speeds, too small a gap creates safety hazards. Imagine what would happen if the rotor slightly vibrated and scraped against the stator at the crazy speed of 30,000 RPM. Therefore, BYD likely sacrificed some torque and motor efficiency for higher speed. Even so, its torque performance remains quite impressive compared to ordinary motors. BYD engineers revealed that 30,511 RPM isn't this motor's limit. Theoretically, it could reach 34,000 RPM. This number is astounding. Consider that Xiaomi V8S's 27,200 RPM already presented numerous technical challenges. Engineers needed to develop specially made 960 megapascal strength magnets to resist centrifugal forces at high speeds, preventing rotor fragmentation during high-speed rotation, and research special iron sheet cutting processes to ensure oil sealing, as centrifugal forces at high speeds can even cause oil to seep through iron sheet gaps. For BYD's 30,000 RPM challenge, they didn't use carbon fiber rotors like Tesla or Zeker, but adopted a design approach similar to Xiaomi's, directly increasing magnet strength to 1,000 megapascals. This choice makes sense. Like Xiaomi SU7, the Han L and Tang L are aimed at mass production, and carbon fiber rotor production capacity might struggle to meet demand within two months. Xiaomi jointly developed special silicon steel sheets with Shu Gang, securing exclusive usage rights for two years. Who is BYD partnering with? Given BYD's vertical integration capabilities, they might be developing and producing these components themselves. BYD shared several unique challenges faced due to ultra-high speeds. First is the permanent magnet fixation problem. Typically, permanent magnets and magnet slots need adhesive fillers for fixation. But at the extreme speed of 30,000 RPM, centrifugal forces are too great for conventional fixation methods. BYD had to develop special expansion layers to secure the rotor. Second is dynamic balance adjustment. Ordinary motors might have holes in end caps for dynamic balance adjustment, but this crude adjustment method is far from sufficient for 30,000 RPM motors. BYD specifically developed high-speed molding machines, essentially ultra-precise rotor dynamic balancing machines. Before installation, rotors need to spin at high speeds on these machines to release internal stress. These machines achieve precision of 50 mg to 100 times more precise than ordinary tire dynamic balancing, which has a minimum adjustment of 5 grams. This level of precision is extremely rare in industrial fields. The huge gap between 580 kilowatt peak power and 300 kilowatt rated power inevitably brings severe thermal management challenges. BYD introduced coolant into the electrical area for the first time, adopting electrical area coolant composite cooling technology to remove heat faster. This three-layer structure of oil-water coolant differs fundamentally from ordinary oil-cooled motors, and the oil passage design for stator and rotor must have unique characteristics. Though these details weren't elaborated in the presentation, they undoubtedly represent the cutting edge of motor cooling technology. The emergence of BYD's motor isn't just a product launch, but a technological watershed for the entire new energy vehicle industry. It proves that Chinese companies can now lead globally in cutting-edge electric drive technology. In just a few years, 
China's three electric technology has transformed from follower to leader, far ahead on the world stage. These technological breakthroughs will not only apply to BYD's own products, but will influence the entire industry through the supply chain, driving global electric vehicle technology progress. Imagine what kind of driving experience this ACE level motor will bring to sedans and SUVs priced at 200,000 to 300,000 yuan. How will it change our perception of electric vehicle performance? What connection does BYD's megawatt level flash charging technology have with this motor? These questions are worth our anticipation and consideration. BYD's presentation might be one of the most hardcore technical presentations I've seen. No entertainment segments, just mountains of technical information with difficulty comparable to university advanced mathematics. Each technical point could only be briefly covered, and few people could fully understand everything. But it's precisely these seemingly dry technological breakthroughs that are changing the future of the entire automotive industry. We once thought domestic three electric competition had reached white hot intensity, with development seemingly hitting a ceiling. But the consecutive technical limit pushing performances from Xiaomi and BYD show us new dawn. Which aspect of BYD's 30,000 RPM motor impresses you most? Is it the W-type rotor design, the 1,000-volt platform, or the amazing 16.4 kilowatts per kilogram power density? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to learn more about BYD's flash-charging technology battery structure or the internal construction of super-powerful motors, please like and subscribe to the Volt China channel. In our next episode, we'll deeply explore how BYD's flash-charging technology works and its relationship with this super-powerful motor. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our latest videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.